syllable? I think Muhammad Sahel is not available now. I am going to invite Salim Munawar, Deputy Director of OPDA. Hello, Salim, you are here? Yes, sir, I am available. Thank you. You can present now your, uh, your topic is assessment of river regime of Chinab River in post Chinur Dam project scenario. Please, you can present. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Assalamualaikum. Good evening. My name is Salim Munawar, and uh, the topic of my presentation is assessment of river regime of Chenab River in post Chenur Dam project scenario. Uh, I am Deputy Director Wabda, uh, and uh, currently I am doing my Masters in Hydropower Engineering from Center of Excellence in Water Resources, and my co-author is Dr. Muhammad Kaleem Server. This will be the sequence of my presentation. I will start with the objective of the study, then a slide on dams and river regime. Then I will discuss the study area and the methodology I adopted for the research study, and then simulation and its results. And in the last, I will, I will conclude with some recommendations. The objective of the, the objective of the study was to assess the river regime of Chenab River from Chenyot Dam project to Trimu Barrage, which becomes 130 km reach in post Chenyot Dam project scenario. Uh, the construction of dams on a river system modifies both the natural flow regime and the natural sediment transport regime, thus impacting the river process downstream of the dams. River regime in dynamic equilibrium is a system in which slope of a river is so adjusted that the velocity required to transport the load with available discharge and the adopted channel geometry over a period of years. This is the study area which shows the location of Chenyot Dam. It is located on Chenab River. At present, there is no mega storage project on River Chenab. In 2014, Wabda realized the need of assessing the surplus flows and storage potential on the Chenab River to make their possible use. The proposed Chenyot Dam site is located 176 km downstream of Marala Biraj and 5 km from the city Chenyot. It aims at storage of surplus flows from Chenab River by constructing a dam come Biraj across the river near Chenyot City. Its storage uh, would be uh, around 0.9 mf to 1 mf. Now methodology. Uh, the methodology I adopted uh, is based on the quasi and steady flow analysis using 1D numerical model. Uh, the software I used uh, is HECRAS 6.0. Uh, flow series data obtained from Chenyot Dam Reservoir Operation, which was uh, carried out during the feasibility study of the Chenyot Dam. Uh, transport equation and uh, trans transport function used in sediment transport was acres and white. Sorting method adopted for the study was Copland. Fall velocity method used in the model was Ruby method. Reservoir level was used as internal stage boundary condition, condition to represent the reservoir levels. Sediment boundary condition used at upstream was sediment rating curve. Uh, and assess, assessment of river regime by comparing river profiles pre and post in your dam project for 5, 10, and 30 years. Model calibration and validation. The model was hydraulically calibrated and validated for water surface profiles against historic floods, and secondly, for sediment transport rates using historical river surveys. Flood discharges and corresponding water levels at the new dam site and uh, 85 km downstream of dam at Rivaz Bridge were obtained for the year 1997 to 2001. And the medical model was validated for four different floods for four different years. And then uh, after hydraulic calibration, sediment calibration was carried out using 2005-06 and 2013-14 river surveys carried out by River Survey Division of Punjab Irrigation Department. After uh, the calibration validation of uh, the model, uh, uh, the dam was inserted in the geometry and it was validated, again validated with the Bruins curve. 
Rune curve is generally the most widely used procedure to estimate the sediment trap efficiency in reservoirs. This is the table uh, which shows the results of the validation with the Brune's curve. In the third column, you can see the trap efficiency obtained from the Brune's curve against 5, 10, 20, and 30 years of dam operation. And in the second last column, you can see the trap efficiency obtained from the model. Uh, overall results uh, shows uh, the Nash coefficient of 0.734, which shows the good results. Uh, then simulation was carried out, uh, uh, were compared for the year 5, 10, 30 years of dam operation uh, and invert elevations, invert change and sediment mass in cumulative graphs were plotted and compared the results for the changes in the river regime due to the proposed project. Uh, the simulation after five years of dam operation, uh, after five years of dam operation, 68.275 million tons of sediment mass entered the reach and 57.364 million tons got trapped in the dam. 10.911 million tons of sediment mass uh, transported downstream of the dam and 13.083 million tons got transported out of the reach at the removal edge. The results show deposition in the reservoir and mostly erosion in the downstream reach of the dam. At just 680 meters downstream of the dam, erosion of 4.8 meters was observed. Maximum negative inward change of 4.8 was observed at 680 meters downstream of proposed dam, and maximum positive inward change of 0.8 meters was occurred at 15 kilometers downstream of the proposed dam. Then results after 10 years of dam operation, uh, 172.545 million tons of sediment entered in the reach, out of which 136.475 million tons got trapped in the Chenyot Reservoir. 36.74 million tons of sediment mass transported downstream of the dam and 40.707 million tons got transported out of the reach at Timu Garage. The results showed deposition in the reservoir and mostly erosion in the uh, downstream reach of the dam. At 680 meter downstream of dam, erosion of 6.1 meter was observed. Uh, maximum negative inter invert change was 6.1 at the downstream of the uh, dam and positive invert change of 0.9 meter was occurred at 15 kilometer downstream of the proposed dam. And similarly, after 30 years of uh, dam operation, uh, on average, 19.459 million tons per year entered into the reach and out of which 14.552 million tons per year got trapped in the uh, reservoir. And uh, uh, on average, 4.907 million tons per year transported downstream of the dam and uh, on average, 5.326 million tons per year got transported out of the reach at Trimu Garage. The results show deposition in the reservoir and mostly erosion in the downstream reach of the uh, dam at 680 meter downstream of dam erosion of 8 meter was observed after 30 years and similarly uh, maximum invert change was 8 meter and maximum positive invert of uh, invert change of 0.9 meter was occurred at 75 kilometer downstream of the proposed dam now, these are the graphical representations of 5 10 and 30 years of dam operation the first row uh, shows the invert elevation. On x-axis, uh, these are the distance uh, of the reach, 140, 160 kilometers. And uh, on, on y-axis, uh, invert elevations are there. And in the second row, invert change, overall invert change in 5, 10, and 30 years are shown. And in the third uh, row, cumulative sediment mass uh, at different locations are depicted. This is the uh, results summary. Uh, which shows uh, regime changes in five after five, 10, and 30 years. Uh, sediment load entered per year, uh, 13.655, and uh, after 10 years, it is 17.255. Uh, after 30 years, it is 19.459. Similarly, sediment load uh, trapped in the reservoir are shown in the second row. Sediment load transported uh, out of the reach uh, per year in the third row are represented. Maximum deposition and maximum erosion are also shown in the last two rows. Conclusions. Uh, key points of my conclusions are as follows. After first five years of dam operation, ratio of sediment passed through the dam to the sediment transported out of the reach was 0.833. 
After 10 years of dam operation, the ratio was 0 0.886, and after 30 years of dam operation, it was 0 0.921. Uh, these ratios shows uh, that the river reach would continue to attain its equilibrium even after 30 years of dam operation. The study reach showed erosion of 8 meter and maximum of 8 meter at just downstream of the proposed dam and deposition of 0.9 meter at 15 km downstream of the dam. The study was uh, based on some limitations of input data and calculations. Therefore, few recommendations are listed as below. Analysis of the same uh, reach using unsteady flow modeling approach and compare the results to find out un under uh, which circumstances the model performs well, more bad gradation and more Manning's uh, value should be included in the geometry of the model. Thank you. Any question, please, I'm available. Thank you. Thank you, Slim Rover, for your presentation.